Chevrolet's little Spark City car offers a dash of character at the affordable end of the urban runabout sector, yet has a spacious cabin and relatively affordable pricing. Small cars with character are all the rage these days. Minis and Fiat 500s populate our city centres and have spawned a whole host of imitators. Trouble is, few of them are really as practical as most of us need a small car to be. Five doors, for example, would be a start, decent rear seat leg space and uh, a sensibly affordable asking price would be another bonus. So what if uh, one manufacturer could bring you a sensibly packaged, affordably priced little car that still had its own cheeky sense of style. Well, that's exactly what Chevrolet claimed to have done with this model, the Spark. Here's a brand keen to reinvent itself away from public perception that varies between thoughts of gas-guzzling American monsters and the cheap Korean rebadged Deus that Chevy was largely stuck with selling in the years after it relaunched itself on the British market back in 2005. Now, the most successful of these was the old Deu Matisse, and uh, this spark represents Chevrolet's attempt to repackage its practical virtues in a more modern, trendier design. To make sure of universal acceptance, the stylists even produced three concept cars and conducted a public internet vote to determine which people liked best. Here's the result. Let's check it out. This is a slightly bigger car than the Chevy Matisse it replaced. So it's not quite as nippy through the tiny gaps, the ridiculously tight multi-storey car parks and the width restrictors of urban life. Still, it's uh, easier to duck and dive with it than it would be uh, around town in a Fiesta or quarter size super mini. Take the tight turning circle of under 10 metres, for example. And that slight increase in size means it feels more planted on the road and happier on longer trips. Now this and the use of larger four-cylinder engines will make ownership of this Chevrolet less of a culture shock for those trading down to this smallest of all sectors in the small car market. Two engines are on offer, a 67 brake horsepower 1 litre and an 80 brake horsepower 1.2 litre power plant. And though neither offer the last word in either speed or refinement, they'll probably be quite acceptable for the needs of most buyers. Now I've got the 1.2 litre variant here, a, a model capable of trimming the rather leisurely 15 and a half second 0 to 60 sprint time that you get in the entry level 1 litre, down to a much more acceptable 12.1 seconds. And that's quite an improvement given the, the 1.2 litres power increase of just 13 brake horsepower. Unusually for a modern little car, this one doesn't have electrically assisted power steering with its engine efficiency benefits, but that does at least mean that the Spark uh, steers more naturally and with a bit more feeling than some of its contemporaries. Not that you'll be tempted to throw this car around when the going gets twisty. The suspension is tuned for uh, urban comfort rather than B-road bumpiness. Uh, further city boons include a smoothly positive gear change, and the useful option of things like rear parking sensors, which together with the wheel at each corner stance, make this an easy car to park. And so to style. This isn't the cheapest city car you can buy, so perceived trendiness will be an important selling feature. Whether this Chevy has it is a subjective judgment, of course, but it certainly makes direct Korean rivals from Hyundai and Kia look rather dull. The signature styling feature is this jagged lightning bolt cut into the flanks, which in turn sparks off a riot of bulges, creases and boldly styled lights, culminating in this deeply sculpted concave bonnet. So yes, you'll get noticed. In terms of size, this car is edging up towards uh, Fiesta and Corsa Super Mini territory without actually quite getting there. Instead, contenting itself with a small but significant 75mm length advantage over its Hyundai i10 arch rival. As to how Chevrolet's designers have used those extra millimetres, well, you find out once you take a seat in the back. Getting in and out is easier than in some rival models with no unnecessary bending, which will please older buyers. Plus, once inside, the room available is impressive. There aren't many city cars that can seat four six-foot adults in reasonable comfort over a journey of decent length, but thanks to its tall, upright packaging and relatively lengthy wheelbase, 
this spark is one of them. You could even put three adults in the back here over a, a short trip and get no more complaints than you would have done if you'd bought a much more expensive super mini from the next class up. In their laudable efforts to achieve this, Chevy's penmen have nicked a few litres of boot space, so the offered 170 litre volume can be bettered by most rivals. Flatten the 60-40 split folding rear bench, however, and the 568 litre total capacity is much more class competitive. It's a pity though that there's no outside handle for the boot, you need a key to open it. At the wheel, the Spark continues to take a different route towards city car satisfaction, with a neatly designed prominent centre stack here, and uh, an instrument binnacle that the designers claim was inspired by a sports motorcycle. It's speedo flanked by a funky LED display. The instruments, lit in a fetching shade of electric blue at night, move with the wheel on those models that have a height adjustable steering wheel so you never lose sight of them and you've got the usual array of storage features twin cup holders here at the bottom of the center console and an extra pot behind the gear stick to store an mp3 player or a mobile phone now list pricing suggests that you'll be paying somewhere in the eight to ten thousand pound bracket for your chevrolet spark you could save around £1,000 on that bottom figure by going for the, uh, the basic entry-level one-litre variant, but it's so sparsely equipped that I'd advise against it. Go for a reasonably trimmed model, and there's the option uh, for another £300 of going for the 1.2-litre engine, which, which seems a reasonable choice. At that level, though, you might also want to consider paying £1,000 more for a comparably engined version of Chevrolet's Aveo Super Mini, which is slightly larger. As for rivals, well, the most obvious ones are Korean. Spark 1 litre customers could also consider a Kia Picanto, priced fairly comparably to the Chevy, except in baseline form, where it offers more equipment but feebler power. Spark 1.2 litre buyers might also consider a high-endy i10, which could save you as much as £1,000 on the Chevy, but offers a little less power and a lot less style. As for city cars from the big name brands, well, they either offer you only three doors, like Renault's Twingo or Ford's KA, and or uh, cost a lot more, step forward Vauxhall's Aguila. Whether you choose one litre or 1.2 litre petrol power, you should find your Spark to be reasonably well equipped, providing you avoid the entry level version, which has the front side and curtain airbags and driver's seat height adjustment that you get across the rest of the range, but doesn't even include a CD player or a, a height adjustable steering wheel. That apart, all Spark models come with features like remote central locking, uh, air conditioning, electric front windows, and a CD player. ESP stability control is only optional, however. Now, running costs are obviously crucial for any city car, and the Spark's compact petrol engines should deliver the goods. Interestingly, it makes no difference whether you choose the 1 litre or the 1.2. Both uh, return the same 55.4 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 119 grams per kilometre of CO2. Other city cars can do better, but uh, those returns should be sufficient for most buyers. And they also should be quite happy with the three-year 60,000 mile warranty and the cheap insurance. You'd be forgiven for looking at the small car market and concluding that stylish and trendy always spells expensive and impractical. Chevrolet Spark isn't the last word in compact automotive fashion, but it is cheeky enough to make other compact urban runabouts look rather plain and dull. That it can do this at an affordable price while managing to serve up one of the largest cabins in the tiny car sector ought to merit it a place on your city car shortlist. True, some rivals are more sensible, others more fashionable. But in managing to combine a bit of both, Chevy's smallest offering sparkles. <laughs>